Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are well today, wherever in the world you are watching from. Today's video is going to be concentrating on possibly the thing that I think transforms the outfit the most at the end of the process and really kind of cements the outfit as something good and that is accessories. And more than that, I wanted to kind of explore accessories a bit more, why these particular things work, why I've chosen these, and really the power of accessories and also the purpose of them in your outfit and what each one does, creates, what vibe it adds and how it changes the looks. So hopefully this will be a useful one to take away. And if you are kind of someone who focuses on those classic basic pieces, this video is probably a good one for you because um, accessories are the things that really can inject your personality, change the way an outfit feels. And I often get asked, how can you do that? How can you um, kind of bring in some excitement to those classic pieces? And I think this video will be helpful. So um, let's get on to my first accessory. So my first piece today <laughs> is actually a belt and I'm laughing because when I was kind of planning and thinking about this video and the purpose of accessories, I came, <laughs> I came to the conclusion that actually accessories all have a very practical purpose to them, um, for the most part anyway. Um, and it's something that just had never crossed my mind before. I think because I see accessories as so like, transformative to the look and the style and the outfit and so much a kind of part of all of that that I forgot to ever consider that accessories are for practicality too. Um, for example, like belts are to hold your trousers up, bags are to store things in, sunglasses protect your eyes. And for me, I don't know why, but I guess fashion and the look of things is at the forefront of my mind rather than practicality. So just sort of expanding on the very base practicality of things, I wanted to share how these pieces are practical within the look of things. So the first accessory is a slimline black belt. I'm gonna be relatively specific with this video of things that I um, think look really good and work and, and the purpose they serve. So this one is a Loewe belt. It's actually from Farfetch. Everything will be linked below. And the next couple of items are also from Farfetch. Um, this section of the video is sponsored by them. They are my go-to for higher-end shopping just because they stock such a huge range of products. They have over 3,000 of the world's best brands on there and they also have a really good rewards and points system. So the more loyal you are to them and you shop through them, you then accumulate points, which then unlocks things for you. So that could be something like free shipping or even access to some of their personal stylists as well. So lots of different things that they offer on their platform. I also have a Farfetch discount code for you, um, which I'll pop on the screen. I'll also leave in the description box below so you can get um, a little bit of something off with your next purchase. So as I say, one of the kind of main factors I shop on Farfetch is because they stock a really wide range of brands and also products. Um, just to note as well, they don't add extra import fees on at checkout. So, or kind of like surprise import fees when you receive the item, um, it's all included within the price. So that's, I think, always useful to know. Um, another reason I like shopping on there as well, because it's very kind of transparent. But yeah, stock lots of different brands, including Loewe, um, one of my favorite designers. This shirt is also from Farfetch, um, the Loewe. This is like a unisex shirt. I'll link this one below. It's absolutely amazing. Such a classic, timeless piece that I can have in my wardrobe forever. Anyway, back to the belt, enough about the shirt. Um, the belt for me, this kind of style is something you probably see me wearing quite a lot of. Um, I've been sneaking it into some of my outfits um, on Instagram lately, just because it's so useful for a couple of different reasons. So one is a black belt is useful, particularly in the spring, and I'm going to be spring focused here and summer focused, because it can balance out darker shoes. A lot of the time we have that dark, darker footwear, like the loafers I'm wearing here, and they can look quite heavy on their own. So a black belt in that sense is so practical and useful to do a bit of color balancing and bring um, the black from the shoes up to the top. 
The second reason I've particularly chosen a slimmer belt is just because I think it's more discreet, which kind of lends itself to that flexibility. It's not a really stand up piece that takes away from the outfit, but it's just subtly there. Um, and I just love this styling here. This is a kind of outfit formula that I'll be doing a lot in the coming months. Some white trousers, white tank top, open shirt over the top, or you could uh, swap that for a blazer or another kind of jacket. And then you can balance it out with either some black sandals or black um, shoes or loafers if you've got some. I mean, you don't have to wear it with that, but if you've got those dark things that you want to balance it with. And I really like this one, this particular one, um, I think so good because actually, let me go and get it. I, I mean, I've got close-ups, but I'll go and hold it. So you can see um, the kind of gold on it. It's, the logo isn't too blingy. It's just subtle, um, but the shape of it just feels a little bit different and unique. And as I always mention, look for those subtle, subtle details because they are what makes a piece. It's not just your average buckle, it's something different. Um, and I just think it really elevates the outfit. In terms of sizing, um, I got this in a size 80, which works for the most part, but I might just put an extra hole in because sometimes when I'm doing more of a high-waisted look, I could do with it slightly tighter. So I think a 75 would have also worked, but usually kind of if it's over jeans or something. Um, then the 80 is good for me. Um, I'll link sizing info as well below. So my next piece is the natural shade low heel in a kind of beige or something to maybe complement your skin tone, I think is a really good accessory to own in your wardrobe. And in particular, this type of sandal, I just think for me, these are just like the dream sandal, so simple, so elegant, but there's so much about them that is just perfection. <laughs> um, so I love this square toe detail. I love, love, love the heel height and the heel shape. I love the simplicity of them. So these are from Anina Bing and they've just got a tiny, tiny logo. Again, very discreet, but just a little bit of something there. I love how it's just two straps and the color of them too. I think these would look so nice on so many people. They're just a lovely shade of like a darkish beige really. So very, very versatile. Again, these are from Farfetch and I'll link them below. I got these in a 39, normally my 39 and a half, but sometimes when it's like an open toe sandal like this, I'll go for the 39 and they fit me really nicely. If it's like a boot or something really narrow, I'll go a size up. But if not, if it's something like this, I'll go the size down. But they're so good, so comfortable. And the reason I think the kind of purpose they hold is of course their flexibility, but also in spring and summer to kind of tone down some maybe dressier pieces. I think sometimes um, in the warmer months, dressier pieces can feel a little bit out of place. So I've got on, for example, these metallic shorts in this gold. I absolutely adore these. And I think they are perfect for spring, summer getting dressed up. But I think just if you've got things like metallic sequins that are, are very in at the moment, think about how you compare that with something really toned down like um, this kind of beige or natural shade of shoe. It just really kind of grounds it and makes it feel a little bit more spring, summer appropriate. So if you are trying to maximize your wardrobe as uh, kind of my channel's all about, and looking into your wintry, maybe dressed up pieces. Maybe you've got some silk trousers, some black trousers, some things with feather hems on them, and you're wondering how to make them feel a little bit more spring appropriate. Adding a sandal like this really does that. And then not to mention that, of course, there are shade that goes with everything. Okay, so you may remember, I don't know how many weeks ago this is now, um, might have been three weeks to a month ago, I was speaking um, about wardrobe staples, capsule wardrobe, and one of the things I mentioned that I said I've not got yet is a silk scarf. So on Farfetch, um, they stock Totem, who do a really nice range of scarves like this. So there's kind of something for everybody. I think in a neutral works really nicely. Um, and I've been wearing mine a lot since I got it. I'm really, really happy with this. 
addition to my wardrobe. Now the reason why and the purpose of this for me, um, and I mentioned this in my previous video about silk scarves, is it adds that real element of kind of class to the outfit, it polishes the outfit off, and it also completely changes your basics. I just wanted to show you with an example. So I've got on a white t-shirt and then some black straight trousers, a very simple base layer, and this really shows the power of accessories um, because I've popped my scarf on with the t-shirt, just kind of round the neck. There's loads of different ways you can wear them as well, so they kind of create different looks. But just round the neck, and I think it just instantly makes the outfit feel more intentional, not just like I've kind of thrown on t-shirt and trousers, but actually this is a whole look now and it really creates that elegance. And it just finishes off those more relaxed, laid back pieces if you want to kind of make them feel a bit more pulled together. So a lot of these things are pieces that I have been wearing a lot, gravitating towards, and I wanted to break that down and kind of figure out the why behind it. So I've been wearing this suede clutch a lot, and I think a nice, light colored suede clutch. It's a really useful piece in your wardrobe and just a kind of biggish clutch in general, I think provides a really useful function. So what does a suede clutch do in your wardrobe? Well, for me, it dresses down, The kind. it's kind of like the heels. Um, it dresses down those more evening pieces. I've just got it on here with my leather skirt. This was from my collection with Naked. And then I paired it with simple t-shirt, but you could kind of wear this leather skirt with anything, something a bit dressier. And then I've used the bag just to really tone down those elegant evening pieces, especially for this time of year. So that is where your accessories can really take a hold of your wardrobe and transform them seasonally. Something like this lighter clutch will be really useful to um, change your wintry pieces. For example, how often would you think to wear a leather skirt in spring? Maybe it's one of those pieces you leave in winter. Um, but actually wearing it with these lighter tones and the sandals as well really brings it to the new season. So next let's talk about statement sunglasses. And by statement sunglasses, I don't necessarily mean go out and buy a pair of pink sunglasses or something really bold that you'll never wear. By statement, it could be anything. So for example, I've just gone for these Loewe ones, which I've been wearing on repeat, my cat eye anagram ones um, in the tortoise shell. And I think these pack a real punch, but they're so wearable because they're tortoise and then they've just got the gold logo and they're a nice shape. But I think just the shape of them feels really elegant, elevated. I love the tortoise shell as well. I think that gives them an extra something. And then the gold too. So for example, let's talk about statement sunglasses in general. Again, you could be wearing a really simple piece and I think this is what they do to your outfit. For me, I'd rather spend my money on these kind of accessories on more statement pieces and then keep the rest of my outfit very versatile, easy to wear, basics, like this shirt and these jeans. It's a very simple outfit. And then just popping on the sunglasses really transforms the look, gives it that bold element. Obviously you can't do this in the rain or you know when it's dark, but if it's a day where you want to wear your sunglasses, I think this kind of statement pair can really help to elevate a simple look. And Farfetch actually do a really good range of sunglasses too. So make sure you have a look at those if you are on the hunt for something slightly more statement. But I just think they're really handy to transform those pieces and that really is the purpose of them to me. Okay, let's talk about the power of a bold earring. This is the kind of style I'm loving at the minute. A vintage looking or style earring, I think is such a useful accessory and one I've been coming back to time and time again. So let's talk about why I think this works, the purpose of it. I love this vintage feeling. And what I love about them is this 80s nod 
that they give, which is very much a kind of trend at the minute. So you can use these kind of statement earrings, bold earrings like this to add those trend elements that are kind of in at the minute. And rather than investing your whole wardrobe, you can use jewelry to do that. So I actually got these from Etsy, they're vintage. Farfetch actually do a whole range of pre-loved jewelry included. So um, if you are looking for some vintage earrings, make sure to have a look on there. But I just think the purpose really is to elevate a look. I've got on a simple black blazer here. Again, it's going back to those simple pieces. Black blazer, white skirt, um, black shoes, and then just popping these earrings with it just adds that 80s glam twist. Um, and that is why I'm loving this style at the minute. Finally, I just want to talk about the comfortable loafer. So I've got these black ones on, very, very, very comfortable. And I think having a pair of go-to loafers is a really important accessory in your spring summer wardrobe. Obviously the main purpose here is the comfort of them and just being able to walk around all day but still feel stylish. I also think with this style of relaxed loafer, I just think they give like a kind of cool androgynous feel to the look. So if you're wearing something that you want to maybe add a slight edge to or make it feel a little bit cooler, I think adding in a pair of these soft comfortable loafers um, will really give them a bit of a twist and a lift. Rather than wearing trainers all the time, this is a really nice option to have in your wardrobe that you'll be able to keep forever as well. I also think with the black shoes, um, you can then wear them with things like your black jackets. In the cutaways, I've got um, my black leather jacket on. So if you've got pieces like this, again, that you might feel belongs in a cooler climate, um, actually, how can you then make it work into spring and summer? So for me, I mean, in England, you can definitely wear a leather jacket all year round, more so in spring and summer than in the winter. But um, I just like the way that these black loafers balance out the leather jacket. So they're just a really useful piece that I found myself coming back to a lot. Um, and that's really what I wanted to share with you today, those pieces that I think are real staples in your wardrobe and why they are and what they do. Um, so hopefully by kind of explaining the why behind everything, that will spark ideas in your mind, in your wardrobe about maybe what you're lacking, what you're missing, and then help you with the styling and integrating those pieces into your wardrobe. So if it has been useful, let me know in the comments and also subscribe whilst you're here. Thank you so much and I'll see you in my next video.